there's that. He wrote a lot. He spoke. He wrote well. He's got some great some documents that he put out. And I one of one he's got a ton that he put out. One of them I'm I'm gonna read. It's a very it's a very interesting piece. And and so he wrote this after Germany had surrendered and the British occupation forces were in place in Germany. So you've got the Brits there in Germany occupying the country. You've got the German civilians who have been defeated in war. And here we go to this message that he wrote. 10 June 1945, Germany. Personal message from the commander-in-chief to the population of the British area in Germany. You have wondered, no doubt, why our soldiers do not smile when you wave your hands or say good morning in the streets or play with the children. It is because our soldiers are obeying orders. You do not like it, nor do our soldiers. We are naturally friendly and forgiving people. But the orders were necessary, and I will tell you why. In the last war of 1914, which your rulers began, your army was defeated. Your generals surrendered, and the peace treaty of Versailles, your rulers admitted that the guilt of beginning the war was Germany's. But the surrender was made in France. The war never came to your country. Your cities were not damaged like the cities of France and Belgium. And your armies marched home in good order. Then your rulers began to spread the story that your armies were never really defeated. And later they denied the war guilt clauses of the peace treaty. They told you that Germany was neither guilty nor defeated. And because the war had not come to your country, many of you believed it. And you cheered when your rulers began another war. Again, after years of waste and slaughter and misery, your armies have been defeated. This time, the Allies were determined that you should learn your lesson, not only that you have been defeated, which you must know by now, but that you, your nation, were again guilty of beginning the war. For if that is not made clear to you and your children, you may again allow yourselves to be deceived by your rulers and led into another war. During the war, your rulers would not let you know what the world was thinking of you. Many of you seem to think that when our soldiers arrived, you could be friends with them at once, as if nothing much had happened. But too much has happened for that. Our soldiers have seen their comrades shot down, their homes in ruins, their wives and children hungry. They have seen terrible things in many countries where your rulers took the war. For those things, you will say you are not responsible. It was your rulers. But they were done by the German nation. Every nation is responsible for its rulers. And while they were successful, you cheered and laughed. That is why our soldiers do not smile at you. This we have ordered. This we have done to save yourselves, to save your children, to save the world from another war. It will not always be so. For we are Christian forgiving people and we like to smile and be friendly. Our object is to destroy the evil of the Nazi system. It is too soon to be sure that this has been done. You are to read this to your children if they are old enough and see that they understand. Tell them why it is that the British soldier does not smile. B.L. Montgomery, Field Marshal.